second half of the NFL season is here, and those young QBs are putting on a show. But who's the best team? This is when we separate the pretenders from the contenders. And you can follow that story every Sunday with the NFL on CBS. All right, we're back with Fourth and Forever, and here's some of our matchups that you can't miss. One of the biggest matchups of the week, Saints versus the Chiefs. Saints coming off a crushing loss to the Philadelphia Eagles. I got to say, they kind of got blindsided by Jalen Hurts. I don't think anybody knew. I don't even think the Eagles knew what that offense was going to look like, but he obviously provided a spark, caught the Saints off guard. It was almost like watching a mirror image of two quarterbacks that run a little better than they throw it in Taysom Hill and Jalen Hurts. We'll see where Drew Brees is at. His status still questionable and probably not going to be in this game, but that Saints defense is going to have to play you know, real tough against uh, against the Chiefs. Now the Chiefs are coming off a win, an ugly win, mind you, against the Dolphins. Patrick Mahomes with three interceptions in that game. I know the media is all up in arms with Patrick Mahomes throwing three interceptions and he looks terrible. Well, he just missed a couple passes and a couple of them were tipped. You know, he had uh, a little bit of luck go go the other way and sometimes the ball just bounces the other way and i know this game is in the big easy but i still like the chiefs minus four too much offensive firepower this next matchup browns at the giants browns totally blow it in prime time again they get your hopes up and then they let you down this was a chance on a national stage to make a statement to you know really push for that wild card and it didn't pan out so uh, i don't know where they go from here they got a short week against the Giants, who are fighting uh, to win their division with uh, with Washington. So I don't know. This is this is a tough one to call after that loss. You know, the Giants are coming off a tough loss as well at home against the Cardinals, in which Daniel Jones played the week before. They go out to Seattle and beat Seattle with Colt McCoy. Then they come back home and lose with their starter. So they're kind of all over the place. Couldn't find a way to bottle up Kyler Murray. I see the Browns playing well and uh, and ruining the Giants Sunday. So I'll take the Browns. Another big game this weekend, the Seahawks traveling to DC to take on the Washington football team. Washington coming off of a big win, an emotional win against, well, formerly the San Francisco 49ers, now the Arizona 49ers. Dwayne Haskins had to go in for an injured Alex Smith, who was experiencing soreness in his injured leg from a couple years ago. But Dwayne Haskins comes in, and with the momentum that that defense has, you know, Chase Young, Kerrigan, those guys are getting after the quarterback and making life tough on offenses. Haskins played more or less well, and he had a solid game, got them to the victory, and then you saw his emotional press conference after the game talking about going through adversity so maybe this was a great situation for him the silver lining is that you know he can bounce back from a tough situation and maybe become the quarterback that uh, either Washington or another franchise have drafted him to be and then you look at the Seahawks they're coming off of a, a big win with Jamal Adams playing well against his former team the Jets they smacked him and you know no surprise there. We knew that was coming, but uh, the Seahawks team is on a roll. We'll see with Alex Smith being a little shaky if Haskins has to step in this week. I don't know, just that that uh, uncertainty at the quarterback position doesn't bode well for them against the Seahawks team that's uh, that's all about momentum and, and knows how to play well on the road, especially on the East Coast. So uh, I'll take the Seahawks in this one with the spread. All right, this next matchup, the Dolphins travel to New England to take on the Patriots, their division rival. Whew. Big AFC East matchup. This one, essentially for the Dolphins, kind of for all the marbles. This is going to help them in their uh, wild card hunt. Really, the Dolphins are favored in December in Foxborough. This is uh, it's got to be the first time in a long time that that's the case. Xavier Howard, what a stud he's been. I know they locked him up to a solid contract there in Miami. But he's got nine picks this year. He's tied with Ed Reed for 21 interceptions in his first 53 games. You saw the one-handed pick last week. Wow. This kid can play, and that was against the Chiefs. He essentially locked down Tyreek Hill, save for maybe one big throw. But Tyreek Hill is always going to get his, but he sure did a good job. So he's not going to have any... <laughs> Any Tyreek Hills or real speed to worry about on the Patriots roster. Curious to see what the Patriots' plan of attack is. You know, essentially this team has turned into one of those service academy teams, whether it's Navy or Army. 
They try and run out the clock, limit your possessions on offense. You know, they're great on special teams and, you know, they're just annoying and tough on defense. They master situations and, and that's really what it looks like. It looks like Bill Belichick took a page out of his dad's book who coached at Navy for a long time and he's turning that team into a service academy team. But uh, we'll see if they can hold their own. I like the Dolphins. I like them on the road. I like the way Tua's playing. Need to give him a little bit more time to get through his progressions, get through his reads, and give him a chance to get out, you know, get out of the pocket, flush out of the pocket, and throw on the run because he is deadly when he gets on the move. So I'll take the Dolphins this week in a huge matchup against a division rival. All right, this next matchup, the Arizona Cardinals and the Philadelphia Eagles still in the hunt in the NFC least. Oh, boy. Jalen Hurts steps in beats the Saints, gives that team a spark. You know, it looked like him and Taysom Hill are very similar skill set wise. They run a little better than they throw it. I don't know. I kind of like it. I, I think they're the Eagles in general, that franchise is in a world of hurt next year because they owe Carson Wentz 25 million bucks regardless. But I feel like right now they just got to handle what's in front of them. And that's the Arizona Cardinals. Let Jalen Hurts play. Let him run around. Let him make some timely completions and bank on that defense, providing you a little spark. They got to be sharp on special teams. The Cardinals are favored by five and a half. I don't see them covering. I know they came off a big win against the Giants last week, but the Giants kind of folded in my opinion. I know Kyler Murray's been nursing that shoulder injury. It looks like he's feeling a little better, but uh, he still doesn't look quite a hundred percent. So. I'm going to take the Eagles in this one. I don't know if they win, but I, I sure don't think the, the Cardinals cover. Thank you for watching for Fourth and Forever. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Dad play football. <laughs> nice.